The reason I dance is that it's everything for me. Ballet has always been my way of expressing myself, my freedom, and it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do since I was a child. And so I keep coming back to it time and time again. One of the most frequent questions I have gotten lately is how do you stay self-motivated? You're no longer in a company. Are you going to get back in a company? How do you do this? How do you find the day-to-day -day motivation? And honestly, it's because I am now dancing for myself and I am having my career on my own terms. And while you think it would be hard to self-motivate, actually, um, it's, it's like a weight off my shoulders because I'm doing this for me now. I'm not out to please anybody else. I am in the studio working every day and doing what I do for me. And that's one of the things I tell young dancers. And really, no matter who you are, you, no matter what you do in your life, you have to find the joy in it for you. You have to do it for yourself. Because if you try and sit there and please everyone and, and value yourself and determine your self-worth based on everyone else's opinions, based on you know what the person at the front of the room thinks, you'll never be happy because everyone always has something to say. You know, whether it's you're too tall, you're too short, you're too fat, you're too thin, your legs aren't long enough, your arms aren't long enough, your feet aren't pointed enough. There's always going to be something you wish you could change. There's always going to be something that someone says. And so you have to find, you know, this path for yourself. You have to find why you do what you do. And that's one of the things I'm passionate about is bringing that joy back into this career. So many people have honestly lost the reason they do this. They've lost the beauty of ballet because it's just become a complete mental breakdown for them. They never feel good enough. They look at themselves in the mirror. You know, they hear from their teachers that nothing is ever right and they've lost why they started dancing in the first place. And so finally I'm at a point in my life where I've gotten back to that. I remember that four-year-old running around in a tutu wanting to be the ballerina. And I'm, got, I've, I'm in the place now where I, in the studio, that's what I'm doing. I'm the four-year-old. I'm getting to, to dance for me. Every day I go in there and do class and sort of flail around the studio, it's for me. Um, and that's one of the great things about ballet, honestly, is that every day is a new journey. Every day is a new process. You know, we're not Olympians. We're not going for medals. We're not, you know, all about who can run the fastest. We get to improve yesterday. You know, as an Olympian, if every four years, if you have a good day, great. If you don't, that's it. And for us, it's about the process. It's the every day in the studio, every day, you know, trying to, to push yourself a little bit further. And I finally found the joy in that aspect as well because I'm doing this for me. So no matter where you are in your life, if you're a dancer or if you're not a dancer or you want to do this professionally or you dance for yourself, you do it as a recreational thing, find the joy in it for you. Find what about this art form makes you happy. Find what it is about what you do that makes you happy. And on those hard days, that's what will get you through. That's what will help you get through the days that you look in the mirror and go, ugh, I wish I was five pounds thinner. Once you find your own personal motivation, every day becomes a new journey. And you'll always be satisfied, no matter what you do. Mm -hmm.